Hi, welcome to another brush and bulk video. Today we're going to be doing two quick and easy methods to paint different kinds of stone. So the things that we're going to be using to paint up a stone today are the base from the Chaos Terminator Lord from Games Workshop. Quite a cool looking base, plenty of detail on there as well that we can touch up and get stuff going on there. And also one of the treasure tokens from the Forgotten Pacts expansion of Frostgrave. Going to do this in two different colours, so you've got the base stone, which will be pretty similar to this one, and then the actual rock itself, which will be a bit different. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the Chaos Terminator Lord base, and we're going to give that a wash of Null Oil with parts of Grax Earth Shade as well. They're both Citadel Shades. You can apply this quite liberally, just get it into all the creases, spread it about a bit so it's not too thick. We do want quite a bit on there to catch all the shades and whatnot. You can add a few little bits of a Grax Earth shade just to give it a bit more colour. There we go. Now we're going to leave that to dry, which will probably take some time, and we'll come back and we'll start on the next layer. Right, so we've already painted this Vallejo dark sea green and then washed it with null oil. And we're just going to go back over it with the dark sea green and we're going to put this layer grey brack on but leaves it some of the null oil in the recesses. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on with this and then when we come back all the grey will be done. The next layer we're going to do is a mix of deep sea green and London grey, both Vallejo colours. And we're just going to sort of cover most of the same grey area but to a lesser extent. Just carry on with this mix and then when we come back the base will be highlighted with that kind of grey. Okay you can see from the last layer that we tried to get the light so it's coming in from this direction. Um, added a few little striations to the rocks and a bit of bedding on them just to give them a bit more detail and you can see that most of the highlights are all in the same kind of place on each piece of rock. So the next layer we're going to do is just added a little bit more London grey to the mix we're just going to use that to add another layer of highlights to this. Okay, you can see the highlights on that side there. Um, I'll just pause a bit and then we'll come back when that's all finished. Okay, you can see the highlights on that. The next layer is just going to be pure London grey and this is only going to cover a really small area of it. Now we're going to do a final highlight of white on that as well.
Okay, we'll just finish off those highlights and I'll go on to the next colour. Okay, the final highlight we're going to do is just a little bit of pure white. And that's just going to be to get the edges of the stone to stand out a bit more. There we have it nicely done, just to get the edges there highlighted. Okay, the final thing we're going to do here for this base is just add a couple of shades, and we're using Citadel BL Tan Green and Citadel Agrax Earth Shade, and we're just going to use the green in all the, the recesses where damp had gather, and then the Agrax Earth Shade is just going to be to add a bit of dirt to it. There we go, and that's that one finished. This one's going to be done much the same as the Chaos Terminator Lord base, only we're going to be using a Seraphim Sepia wash on this one. There we go. Now I'm just going to leave that to dry and then we'll carry on once it's dried off. Okay, so between the last part and this part, um, I've painted these stones around the base the same way as I've painted at the other base. So all we're going to do now is work on this beige stone in the middle. I've made a mix of white and Ushabti bone, the citadel colour. I'm going to be using that to sort of put the base colour for this rock on. Now it's quite watered down, that's just so you can build up the layers properly. Okay, now we've added a little bit more water and a little bit more white to the mix just to keep it thin and to make the colour a little bit lighter. Uh, we're just going to give this one more shade of that and we'll see what we're up to at the end. Okay, we'll carry on with that, and then when we come back to it, it should be finished. 
Okay, the final layer we're going to do in this is going to be just a little light white dry brush. Um, I'll just bring out some of the edges and, and highlight some of the patterns on it. Final thing we'll do to that, just to add to the highlight, is to mix a little bit of white with water, and then we're just going to smooth off some of the, high, the um, dry brushing on the top. Then we have the finished rock. Thanks for watching. Hope you found the video useful. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It does help us out a lot. And also consider subscribing to any of our other kinds of social media link below. Thanks for watching.